Hello and welcome to another edition of Safari TV Diary. After some heavy rains and flush green grasses coming through on the open area west of Gowrie Dam, we were lucky enough to watch a host of animals in their daily behaviour. The impala ram marking his territory and maintaining his dominance over the harem of females. It's a piece of a lower jaw of an impala. A very young one, in fact, we can see the teeth haven't erupted properly, they haven't even been used very much in terms of chewing. The wildebeest grazed peacefully. Impala rams moved around, avoiding each other. And some of the bachelors even taking time to do a little bit of sparring. Some youngsters learning about their horns for the first time. This is a premature pod. It has the seeds haven't developed yet within the pod, within each pod. The bunch of seeds or bunch of pods rather are in a big cluster like this, and all of them are sort of curved, almost sickle shaped, which is how it gets its name, sickle bush. Oh, displaying to a female. He's probably picking up an Easter scent there. I only know it as Triclocerus and since it has a long peduncle it's easy to remember that its specific name is Longi Pedunculata. On Twin Dams Road we were lucky enough to come across a couple of sets of tracks, one of a hyena at first drawing the outlines of first the pad and then the toes. And then the distinctive four claw marks at the tip of each toe. And with the hand of a baboon, I've placed each of my fingers in the fingertips of the baboon's print. Once again, a splash of color with Sphidemnocarpus flowering this time of year, a very lovely lemon yellow creeper. And in the dying light of day, back to quarantine, where the wildebeest grazed and some began settling down for the day. One cow grooming, rolling in the dirt, getting ready for a night of vigilance for predators. Join us tomorrow for another edition of Safari TV Diary.